Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle for you today and this one is, I am told, insanely close. Uh, this is between two uh, attackers and two defenders, we have the Arverni and Numidia attacking or um, Masesli, but they're basically Numidia. Uh, and we also have Syracuse and Macedon defending. Uh, this was sent in by a member of the Discord, so if you'd like to obviously send in your own uh, battles that may then feature on the channel. Uh, do join the Discord. The link is in the description down below. Um, but if you've been enjoying all the content at the moment as well, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. Anyway, now we've got that all out the way, uh, let's see uh, what units are being brought and where they're sort of going to be attacking by the looks of it. It looks like most of the attacking is going to be uh, pressured on mass on the start with. I don't know if we can get through this gap here, but that's a gap in the defences. Oh no, you definitely can't. Um, I don't know, uh, you could possibly get up there. Um, certainly a gap in the defences they might want to keep an eye on, I don't know if that is. But we've got lots of Celtic warriors here, here from Arverni, it looks like he's are spamming them out. He's brought some chosen warriors, as, or chosen swords as well. Got Desert Legionnaires and we've got some Numidian Light Infantry along with some Desert Vigilates. Looks like a lot of uh, Roman-like units being brought by Numidia. And it looks like the uh, combat is about to get underway. Um, looks like Syracuse and Mastodon bring a lot of Thoros spears, lots of Thorax swords, the usual sort of stuff. But here we go. It looks like the first unit is going to get up. It's going to be some Thorax swords here. Are they going to be going to combat? Po quite possibly. They're certainly blocking off this area here. They're not going to let these uh, Celtic warriors through. Going to throw some javies. It's, oh, that actually could be very nice into the side. I mean, most of those Celtic warriors are unprotected. They don't have any much armor on or any. Um, I can see some with no, nothing uh, to defend their chests. So they could be uh, very, very vulnerable to uh, javelins and any other missiles, to be honest. There's still a lot of them coming. There's some most one there as well, I see. So that'll be interesting to see how well that'll do. That should do pretty well against most of the sword stuff here. Master though, in full retreat. Um, don't know if he really needs to. I mean, you, you can fall back to this one choke point, which is probably better to defend than... And he can just defend this choke point over here as well. I guess that's his plan. And he can get these archers up here. Oh, this should be actually really nice. You get these archers up here. But he is getting focused down by artillery at the moment. But, I mean, he is blobbing quite considerably. So, he was encouraging the artillery to come and attack him. And this is some Levy Freeman all the way at the back there. Well chevroned up. Always good to see some Levy Freeman on the battlefield. But, yeah, so it looks like with very few lo losses, uh, well, for the attackers, I don't think any. They've already pushed considerably into the city. But there you go. The first engagement has begun. Uh, is that unit of Thorax Swords engaging these Celtic Warriors. Which is already a knackered unit. It's already lost over half its men. These Thorax Swords should mop them up quite easily. I do love the officer for Thorax Swords with like that red little feather going on on his helmet. Very simple, very uh, nice. But there you go, the first unit already routed. Uh, and first blood really to Mastodon. But I mean, Mastodon, uh, not Mastodon, uh, to, well, the defenders will say. Uh, Syracuse to be precise. But yeah, Mastodon's not realised that you can get through here, this gap. I did think you could, and he's having to like send up Thoros uh, Spears here to deal with this issue. Otherwise, these archers would have been absolutely just destroyed. So, I mean, good to see that. I mean, I don't know why he's now falling back. Is he trying to form a square formation? I don't know. But these Soros Spears should do okay against um, Celtic Warriors. It should hold okay. Again, same here. These Soraxes are actually losing. Wow. I mean, so the Celtic Warriors, apparently. Oh, no. There you go. Winning slightly. My mistake. So, there should be the same uh, like result as with Syracuse. To be honest, you do imagine that these uh, Macedonians will just munch these guys up. And this choke point is going to probably be where most of the fights get going to happen, you do imagine. You do wonder whether if you send this Celtic warrior unit around the side here, this will help flank this Thorax swords. It might help uh, deplete them a bit. Yeah, another fight now going on. It looks like Syracuse is now going to mobilize hard. 
and try and take this flank since it's not being well defended by Arverni. And now uh, Numidia is having to send troops over, some desert vigiles. Certainly Desert Cohort, I don't know about Desert Legionnaires, will beat Thorax Sword, which is obviously a concern for the defenders because that's the main sword unit they brought. But Desert Legionnaires I'm not so sure about. They may may put up an even fight, might be an even, even fight for them. But yeah, he's changed the units of the Thorax Swords that are fighting. I don't know why that was the case. I'd have kept this one in there, it was perfectly fine. Does look like Arvoni's going to flank around, which is very smart by the attacker here going to try and flank around. I mean, there is plenty of reserves just to stop this from happening, countering it. And that is about to be what about to happen here. There you go. But yeah, this is all going on in the woods, obviously. Obviously, it's in the woods, so I can't get a nice, too nice a view of it. Greeks versus the Celts. You do imagine the Greeks with their armor probably going to win that. But yeah, they are mobilizing more now. We've got what we've got coming up. Levy Freeman. Some, I don't know why Levy Freeman wasn't the first to go in, really. But they are beating up this unit. I did say, as soon as you send that second unit in to flank on, these Thorax Swords are probably going to feel uh, the pain. And they are. And they're going to have to send another unit up there soon. Macedon's already looking pretty low on reserves. It's got a lot already like committed over here just to holding back Numidia. Don't know if, why that's exactly the case. Like, these Soros Spears are doing their bit, but certainly don't need this unit here. Lots of, uh, these are Numidian Lights as well, so it's like they're not going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to scare a lot. And Desert Legionnaires are losing um, to these Thorax Swords. I mean, the Thorax Swords are also losing, so is anyone a winner? When it comes to war, no, nobody's ever a winner. Yeah, have to see where these Desert Legionnaires... They're probably the reason why these Thorax Swords are starting to win over here. Uh, starting to lose over here, sorry. And they're starting to fall back. They're giving ground. Already. There you go. It looks like this unit is uh, basically gone. Thorax Swords, yeah. 59 holding back. Jeez, I need to see why this unit repositioned. Celtic Warriors flanking around there. These archers, I don't know if they're, why they're not firing. These archers are just taking fire. They need to start firing quickly in here and get these Gallic Hunters off the map. I mean, they're getting off these Tribal Slingers. That's really good. Uh, what did they bring? They just brought normal archers. Okay. No Cretans. Yeah, they are routing these units quite quickly. Doing okay over here is uh, Syracuse. He might need to send troops around. And he is sending troops around to help Mastodon, who seems to be in a real desperate position. But, I mean, in fairness, Syracuse has got one choke point to fight. Mastodon has two. I mean, in fairness, it, oh, gee, well, three, you could say, because this bit over here. But he does need to reposition. That's good to see. He's repositioning his Thorax Swords. Falling back even further back into this choke point. Here come the hordes of uh, barbarians. And here come the Desert Legionnaires. Are they going to make the difference then? Let's see what happens. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if this unit was already losing decisively. It probably was, but I mean, geez, that was not good. That's not good. Look at that. That's Thoros Spears up here. They've got an excellent uh, angle down here. Oh, excellent angle. Just firing down into the backs of, like, any units are in there. So that's really, really good as I get the trees in the way. Desert Legionnaires losing decisively. That's good to see. Thorax Swords now of a combat even. They were losing decisively for a few seconds, but they've sorted that out. Archers routing here though. This is not good. These archers getting focused down by the Gallic Hunters. Really not a good sign. Got Noble Horse and some uh, Armoured Numidian Riders here. That's They could be useful. But I mean, I don't know if this unit here could go up on the walls and they could flank around. But yeah, Syracuse, look at this. Syracuse is mobilizing a lot of Thoros Spears. Like six units to come and help stabilize the side. This is 
a lot by uh, Sirius to be mobilizing. He's not winning his fight over here too like easily. I mean, he is winning, I'd say. Um, but like, he's lost a lot of his archers. There's units in, in the back lines. I didn't even realize this. How did these guys get around? I wonder if they took the wall. Yeah, they did. I bet. I bet they weren't onto the wall. And now they're throwing javies into the back. And they are going to charge into the back of these Thoros, uh, these Thorax swords. Or they're going to try, but I think they've been caught. Yeah, they've been caught by the uh, reserves. So yeah, this unit is now losing because it keeps... Okay, so we're back. Unfortunately, there was a, like, a randomly a crash. I don't know why. Um, around this point here. So I've uh, basically got back to where we were. Um, we have the Chosen Swords back there in the back uh, fighting the Thorax reserves. We now have a small unit of Celtic uh, warriors just flanking around these uh, Thorax swords, trying to get in behind them. We've got Vigilays attacking from the front as well, along with more Celtic. Uh, well, I think these are Chosen Swords here, actually. Not Celtic warriors. We've got through all the rubbish, and we're now onto the quality, you could almost say. But look at that. Looking like the guy here, just looking back like, oh, God, I can't retreat. We're piled in. Piled so many men, it's become a crush. Oh, dear. But yeah, so it does look a little bit, um, I don't know, I, w I would say both sides are still fairly even. You look at the balance of power, it's very even for both sides. Um, I'd say that it possibly is in favour of the attackers because they've still got a lot of their archers and uh, range left. Um, I've seen Syracuse has lost quite a few. I've seen Mastodon's lost one or two units as well. They managed to get a unit up here as well. They need, they need to sort this out, they need to... Possibly go down with the unit themselves, the Thorax Sword unit, and they could go down, they could threaten this. Um, I don't know, like, certainly um, Syracuse, he had so many reserves he committed over here. I thought he was going to send some down here, then flank around. But yeah, there's now another fight going up here. We've got some uh, Chosen Swords fighting some Thorax Swords. And you imagine that the uh, Chosen Swords should come out on top? I don't know, though. We'll have to see. These unit, this unit is pretty bloodied up, the Thorax Sword. So maybe uh, the Chosen Sword will probably win, or should win this, I think. But they've got plenty of reserves up here of Mastodon, as has Syracuse now. And I can hear more arriving. Yeah, some Thoros Spears getting ready, and in they go. They should hold the line. So Arrow's coming in now. I think that's going to be from... Uh... Oh, that's from uh... Mastodon. Okay, so he's sending archers... I mean, definitely making sure that this Chosen Sword loses. I mean, it was already, I'm pretty sure. I mean, the Thorax Swords were getting chopped down. What's next on the list? It's a new Minion Lion Infantry, and then after that, it's some Chosen Swords again. And they've got plenty of uh, Desert Cohort here. Oh, dear. They do have some of the Elites, then. Some of the Elites are here. We do have get Desert Cohort. These guys are nasty. And they're actually being moved forward now. Um, but Balance Power says it's going ever so slightly in favor of the, uh, attack, uh, the Defender. Sorry. Now... They've done a good job of just holding these choke points here. It's going to require some uh, heavy infantry of the Desert Cohort to probably break through. These levy spe spearmen are certainly aren't going to be the ones doing it. I would not expect them to break through just about anything. Maybe some uh, Eastern Spears will break through, but that's about it. These, this is one of the worst units in the game. There you go, you're getting a focus down, that unit should surely break soon. Oh, and the next one's getting focused on as well. I mean, these are just probably two units just to, like, make up the complement of the army or whatever, I don't know. Probably just throwaway units, but they didn't go in first, surprisingly. Desert Cohort all massing over here. They're really going to try and push hard on Syracuse. Interesting decision. I'd certainly carry on pushing if all they have to do is keep distracting the main force of Mastodon and Syracuse down here. They can make a real push up here and go for, uh... Like this final cap point, if they can punch through here, that'll certainly do some damage and cut them out. But, um, I mean, there is so many reserves. Syracuse has so many Thoros Spears left, and he's still got plenty. They're not even engaged over here. They've, well, they sort of are, actually. What's this? Desert Legionnaires, who are actually winning. They're coming off the walls, and they're winning this fight. Need to send more in here to support these guys. But it is the real elites now that are left for the uh, attackers. Desert Cohort, Oath Sworn, Chosen Swords. 
But I mean, the defenders still have plenty of Thoros Spears. They have quite a few Thorax Swords as well. They should do okay. And they've got a Thorax Hot Pie as a general. I'm surprised neither of them brought pikes. I'm just oh no, levy pikes here. Okay, just as I say that pikes appear. What else have we got here? Thoros Spears, Thoros Spears. Yeah, just loads of Thoros Spears. No pikes for uh, Syracuse. And there you go, lots of routing going on as well. As the battle sort of dying down a little bit, it looks like the defenders are uh, under the attackers, sorry. Kind of looking for a new way in. I certainly think uh, pressuring them on that like slope was a really, really good idea. Yeah, these poor Levy Freeman just getting like javied by all the thousands of like Thor Spears that are waiting behind there. Certainly hundreds, not maybe not thousands. Yeah, just like you just see as like, like another like Levy Freeman just gets snatched away by like a half a dozen Javis or whatever. Yeah, they're losing 126 and they're losing to Thor Spears as well. I mean, these guys are losing as well actually. They might break through this unit, and then they've got to face all of these from Syracuse. But I mean, they've got this artillery as well, this African Giant Blister. It's a shame it's not a mobile one, because they could have brought this inside and really pressured um, some of these defences. But look at like Syracuse is falling back. Is he, honestly, he's falling back troops. I guess that this is an issue here, the Desert Cohort. Doesn't look like they're losing, though. I mean, one unit is losing, but... Might be out of position. This is a mess. This is probably where the heaviest fighting is going on currently. Where well, certainly is where the heaviest units are, the Desert Cohort. There you go. They're going to fall back, the uh, attackers. As soon as they see those pikes in that levy pike unit, they will have a none of it. I still think, yeah, push up here. Push hard up here. So what is it? Two battered units defending here. And that's it. I mean, Syracuse is now sending more back this way. I wonder if he's going to defend this area now. Quite possibly. But if he doesn't, if he sends these guys all the way back around there, then this desert cohort needs to like steamroll up here because there's nothing defending this area. They just need to also occupy all of these fronts here. I mean, they're actually... These uh, Thoros Spears making it like a bit of a push here. Then they've realized that there's some Desert Cohort waiting for them. Might not end so well. Sending in some more Gauls now, or some more Chosen Swords, I should say. There's a solid line of infantry here now. I mean, got Thoros Spears waiting behind. Thorax, I think two units of Thorax here. This is not going to get broken through anytime soon. It has been a very, very efficient defense so far. But here come the Desert Cohort again. And the response by Syracuse is to send in the Thoros Spears. I don't know if they were needed to be sent in yet. Might want to just keep those units in reserve, just in the case that the attackers do make another sneaky uh, flank round here, which they've been more than capable of doing so far. Looks like they're sending stuff out this uh, wall here. Oh, interesting. I wonder whether the attackers are going to start sending stuff up onto this tower here. Flank stuff around here on the tower. And it does look like that's going to be the case. And the companion cavalry is going to get uh, sallied out. And it looks like they're going to go for the archers that are being sent out. Uh, and these are light infantry. They could probably take these guys out with the companion cab. But yeah, the uh, general here. I'd certainly send him out. I'd send him out. Perfect time to get um, all this, uh, well, these slingers. And these Numidian in infantry. I do apologize. I don't know why. It's like middle of the day and I'm yawning for some reason. Um, but the pikes are back. As some of the Syracuse units is wavering, so that's not a good sign. I mean, yeah, two units of uh, Syracuse wavering here. Actually, that's huge. 
And these, but these, yeah, there's a cohort doing nasty jobs. They barely lost any men. They've lost like 30 men between them. Um, but yeah, the, when the pikes arrive, the desert cohort just gives up, and so should the uh, chosen swords, to be honest. Yeah, they get, they're making quite a bit of ground of those uh, attack or these defenders. Sorry, but they're getting focused down every time they do it, and they're going to go up here onto this flank. That doesn't seem like a smart idea. I'd go around here. This is a really good idea, I thought. You need to send up infantry first, though. Just to engage that uh, companion cavalry. And there's a flying over here. I don't know how... Oh, there's Thor's Spear is just engaging over to slowly this uh, desert cohort. Which is getting support from the tower, so it's probably why most of these desert cohort are actually dying. I've seen quite a lot drop at the moment. So maybe, or maybe they haven't given the attack order and these guys just don't know what this is happening, but they've been chipped away quite quickly. I mean, they've got Oathsworn back here. I forget they have Oathsworn still. We've got Fighting in here now, Oathsworn now chopping away. That's the thing. I mean, a lot of the Thorax swords are gone, which is probably the only unit that's capable of stopping a lot of these elite units. But these Oathsworn are in. They're going to get inside. You have to send that Thorax sword forward too. There is. It's inside. They are basically, and they could push in. Um, whether the Galakons as well, I don't know. Or they send this tiny unit chosen swords in. But there you go. Macedon's already. They're instantly pulling back the saving this uh, desert cohort unit. It's already lost like 50 men, and most of them just from just not paying attention. Um, but yeah, they're sending this unit, all these units back because they're just worried about this front here. Where they should be, I don't know. Um, I don't think it's really the end of the world yet. I think the other ones still have a lot to do. And there you go. I mean, they're not going to allow the reserves to all get up here um, too quickly because they're going to send up a unit up here and attack here. I mean, more reserves will have to be dragged from, like, defending this spot here to now coming up here to defend on the hill. And then this unit here really needs to get a move on. This desert cohort needs to get a move on. Start pushing around here, threatening this flank. And there you go. Um, Syracuse is falling back now. The flanks from the new medium light infantry off the towers and in. I think this was defendable. This was very defendable. The general had to just go in and he could have cleared up all those light infantry. End of the day, it was light infantry. They're not that great. They literally have basically baskets, uh, like the tops of baskets for shields. They would have, uh, they would have been fine. They'd have been easily cleared up by those thorax hot plights. They're falling back. I mean, these slingers are now able to get inside and not have to worry about anything. Yep. Yeah. Looks like the cohort's already taking kills. It's already, like, getting kills. Taking out that Thorax sword. Then it's the Thoros spear next. Then after that, who knows what. It could be the archers. There's not much up here. I, mean, I can see reserves regrouping, but it is going to be close. It's going to be very close. Balance power is still in favor of the defenders, probably just because of numbers. Quality attackers certainly have it. They have a lot of cohorts left. They have Oathsworn left. I think they still have archers. They just need, and they've given up like their arch towers now, which was certainly helping them get kills. And they've used a lot of their archers up. Look at this, this brave Thorax sword holding back the horde of Numidians. Hold the line, let our men get back, and let our comrades, our brothers in arms, survive while we give our lives. You'll all get a medal at the end. I mean, you're going to be dead, so it's not going to go to you. It's going to go to your loved ones if they're still alive. Yeah, they're getting cut down. Don't know why they didn't just flank around, to be honest. It's a lot quicker to do. Looks like they're already, there's a flank over here that I think the New Millions had seen. Um, Syracuse has certainly seen it with Thor of Spears. I don't know if he's, if I was uh, Syracuse, I wouldn't have um, made like this flank so noticeable by setting troops up there. I would have just left it. There's another one here, to be fair. Um, 
and just flanked around later on late game when these guys were occupied. They're going to cap some spots. I don't know what, if it needs all these guys to cap it, but they're all going to cap it, it seems. I would push hard uh, on these Thoros Spears right now. This one unit of Thoros Spears you could mince with the cohorts. Because the longer you give them, um, well, the more time they have to set up. And you can see here they're setting up in a peculiar way. But it's an efficient way. So if you attack the front, you get flanked. If you attack the flanks, you get charged at the front. It's going to be nasty. Uh, whether our verney has got enough, I'm not so sure. Doesn't look like uh, there's masses either for Numidia or for Misesi. I mean, he's got a lot of troops dedicated here. How the defenders have not realized that this is an issue. And this needs sorting out. I mean, hopefully they send up the Soros Spear soon. That really needs to get a move on. Because this unit is on 41. This could break any second. And then they're in. At these cohorts. And they, to be honest, they could probably rip through most of these spears. I think they are just down to the Thoros Spears. And the Thorax Hoplite. Not a good sign. Yeah, I can't actually see. Around. There's, a Thor there's a Thorax Swords there, actually. But still, they're not being able to... Not being proven to beat any of these guys. Thoros Spears losing, you can see here. Anywhere we're Oathsworn are, the Thoros Spears are not doing so hot. Falling back, they're giving ground, or they're trying to form square. I wouldn't have formed square. You're making it your formation narrow. The idea of your formation was to uh, sort of keep them in this box, but you can now get around if they wanted to. Yeah, I do believe that, well, zooming out, we can look, there's a lot of routing going on. Oh, yeah, the cohorts are in. I did think that was an issue that they hadn't sorted out. They had left 41 men to try and hold back 200 men of the cohorts. And they're holding okay for now, but whether that will last, who knows. Over here, again, pushing hard on this one through spear spot. Not a bad idea, but it does allow Syracuse to probably move a lot of his reserves over. I keep this cavalry nearby just to get ready to flank if needs be. Macedon's certainly in a bit more of a risky position. If I get this cavalry out of here, I wouldn't send the cavalry in. But I mean, companion cavalry now in here as well, fighting. Big risk keeping these guys in uh, prong melee, both for attackers and defenders. But it is a very close siege. Could go either way. I mean, if it stays like this, I'm going to say attackers have got it because they're just... These Oathsworn are just taking names. Taking names. And there goes the companion cab again. It's going to get another charge off into the Oath Sworn. That's a better charge than it won before. And then the Noble Cav has gone in to deal with the uh, companion cav. Noble Horse, or Noble Horse, I should say, is a lot stronger at the moment. Or well, not a lot, but a bit stronger. This unit's winning. Who's it winning against? Oh, that Thor Spear there. They only have to break through here. They can get those slingers up onto this hill and start firing to the back of some of these units. That'll be really good for them. Certainly the companion cab, take them out. Uh, and the attackers are in a serious trouble. I, to be honest, I get that crew up here as well. That giant ballista, get that crew up here. Here it comes, it's walking. It's going to be late to the party. There you go, the slingers are firing. And they are firing at the uh, general. He's now going to be careful. Sort of look like, sort of look like, sort of looks like, I say, uh, for the third attempt. The Macedon has won this. He's just about won this. All these depleted units have chosen swords. 
finally breaking uh, and the archers and it's just down to the o swarm if the o swarm and the cohort can link up soon there's chance there's a chance but with the charges of the companion cav helping It's a, sim, it's a slim chance. We'll go with that. I'll say that much. I, I, don't, I was debating what I was going to say. But, I mean, they are forming square here again. Again, I don't see the point of forming square. Just allowing yourself to get encircled a bit more. And un, units don't love, love like that. Jeez. Um, but also, you can just get focused down quite easily. You're not mobile enough. You're easy, uh, nicely blobbed up. These slingers could probably do a lot of damage if they wanted to. Oswan losing. That's the first of the day. Thoros Spears down here. I presume they chased the cavalry away. But it does look like on this flank, we're going to see victory for uh, Macedon. Unless any Macedonian generals die soon, you do imagine the defenders might claim this. Did he just say it's a little blood, man? It's good for the profession. Well, your profession is being a soldier. You need to be able to deal with blood. There's blood covering all over these men. Got blood in you. Scared of, your, scared of blood, you'd be scared of your own blood. But yeah, I mean, these units over here, that's our flanking. They've got so much committed now. I mean, these got Desert Cohort falling back. Look like they're going to try and take on the position that uh, Macedon has, well, just won and then vacated. Um, we've got a general here fighting tiny Univo Sworn. And Noble Riders here trying to just charge in. I don't know if they've got enough, to be honest. They've got some fairly fresh units. A lot of Thoros Spears left. Able to throw their Javis into the back. It's sort of a hot place, so look really good. One of the few factions that have Thorax hot plates. Another one being uh, Bactria. Who have scaled Thorax hot plates. Those slingers though, they've got to do a miracle as I'm navigating my way through the trees. Yeah, these slingers though, they've got to do a miracle. Hopefully they've got plenty of ammo left. They've got to start focusing down some generals. But what can they see? They could I mean, they can see cavalry here. You can see uh, Thorax hot plates back there. I think they're trying to route, yeah, they're trying to route Syracuse's general, but he's got yeah, plenty of men around him. Noble horse, I guess. What do you go for? Don't know. I mean, this uh, square here is defending the rear of these Thoros spears. We're, be we're losing Desert Cohort. These Desert Cohort are going to get a lot of kills. Uh, the cavalry turning around is going to get a charge off. Not a great one at all. That is very poor charge there. The, the carry will definitely die, will feel the pain for that one. Put it like that. Um, as the fight goes on in the uh, forest, it does look like... Oh, I don't know. It does look like Numidia might win this, actually. Seriously not. Come on. If he flanks that unit, he can break that Thorax sword very quickly. How they've got this back? I don't know what happened to like all the Syracuse. I thought like there was a lot of troops over here. Like Macedon and Syracuse are plenty here, but the Navs are, like they were chasing down cavalry. They were doing all sorts instead of fighting the infantry on the front line, which has still managed to do damage. This cohort though is running low on troops. Surely they won't be able to be much more uh, efficient much longer. How is this unit? Oh, still holding. Still holding. General's in here now for uh, Numidia. He needs to get a move on. He needs a flank round. Get some uh, attacks off. Where? I mean, there's only one unit now here holding. The rest are elsewhere. Yeah, Syracuse being smart, bringing them back instead of being offensive. Probably the better move. Arverni is now capping the main cap point. That's big. Uh, Numidia's bringing up his general. He's pretty beaten up, actually. Jeez, what happened? But they can just carry on just going to the backs of uh, these hot plates here. 
I mean, the general's actually losing. He's losing this fight. 70 men left. He's going to lose this fight, apparently. I mean, he's getting hammered and like, every two seconds. What's he on now? 47. Yeah, Syracuse could lose general. He's the only one left. Mastodon's basically out. Mastodon... What happened to Mastodon's general? I did not see him die. I must have caused a chain route for Mastodon. Mercedes general is pretty beaten up as well. His general is dead as well. Surely Alverni's general is dead as well, but apparently not. Okay, so, I mean, no general for Numidia or Mercedes. Lee. No general for uh, Mastodon. Syracuse is about to lose his. Could be close. It's going to be very close. I mean, they've got fresh units over here, though. How long they'll hold, though, if they get a sustained charge from someone. They're not so bothered about their general being dead now. As, uh... Mercedes Lee. Are they char just going to charge straight into space? Oh my god, that was actually devastating. Jeez, that was a good charge. This cavalry actually might mop up this, uh... Spear infantry. No, nope, they're just going to carry on like nothing happened. Uh, they, uh, they're they losing. Jeez, how are they... This is not a good sign for Syracuse. Syracuse uh, needs to hold on to his general for as long as possible. Is he still alive? He is still alive, just about. They're really piling so I would have sent that unit round flank. Do some more damage. They're using up every javelin before going into combat, by the looks of it. The general now for uh, Arverni now going. Got a chain route here by... Well, not a chain route, but a route here by Desert Cohort. They're gone. It's just coming down these final units then. It's going to be these three. I am going to say that that's probably it. Surely that is it for uh, the attackers. I don't know. They've got this unit here as well. Doesn't look like it's going to be enough. But they did get uh, Syracuse's general. Bounce power is very even. Very, very even. Don't send them all in because they'll flank. Oh, maybe not. It's very, very close, though. I don't know. I do not know where it's going to go. I mean, there go the slingers. No surprise there. They were not going to hold. Um, but that is. Oh, jeez. And that unit's been breaking. If they can then flank around here, they could chain out these. The uh, artillery crew is just about to arrive. They're desperately like, come on. Why are they not running? Run these guys. They're fresh. These. How many men are there? 40 men might be huge. No, no. The light infantry here broke. So now it's the throw of spears that can flank around. But this unit's broken here. Just down to these two desert cohorts. Oh my gosh. I don't know who's going to win this. I do not know who's going to win this. These Thoros Spears here are holding okay though. Yeah, this desert cohort's losing. Need to get this uh, African Ballista up here. The crew needs to be in here. And then you've got Jowies throwing into the back here of these Thoros Spears. Of these, with these Thoros Spears, sorry. And they come. They're absolutely knackered. But they carry on the fight. Just said, I think our enemies are a little bit hostile at the moment. I feel like uh, they're a bit more than hostile. I think they're pretty much trying to kill you. Very hostile. They're inside your city. Killing your people. And your allies. They're more than hostile. It's all out war. It's total war. And this is total war. This is what's so great about total war. Literally coming down to the last few units. I do love to see a really close battle. And... There goes another desert cohort unit. 30 men left. A chain route here, though. And that unit's breaking, though. That cohort, that uh, African ballista being there. This uh, ballista needed crew needed to go up here a lot quicker to save the day, to save his cohorts. Which is breaking 69 men. They may have been enough. But yeah, surely this ballista will now lose. I mean, he's broken that throw of spear. Um, he should, probably will lose that other one. And then this cohort here is uh, basically going to, well, just grind itself up against this uh, throw of spear and probably die. 
But that is probably where the battle is going to end. I'm just going to fast forward now because that's basically all that's left. Um, it's just these two units here. Yeah. There you go. Ballista breaking there. It's literally down to three units. Wow. Um, but I think, yeah, the defenders have got this. Bands power would say so. And numbers would say so. I don't think these guys can uh, possibly lose now. You just flank around. You could probably just go through this gap. Well, it's not a gap, but like the cohort has no men here. Just go in column formation. Go around there and flank on in. It looks like he's going to do something of that type. Yeah, here he goes. He's going to flank around. Oh, it's good to see my subs are learning. Subs are learning all the little tricks in the book. Makes it hard to beat them now, though. I will admit. Makes for better battles. Hard to beat them. Uh, but there you go. Desert Cohort losing. And that's probably going to be it. This unit surely will break soon. There's nothing else on the battlefield. Oh, no. It's... It's it's stabilized. We'll put it like that. Look at these brave last few men. Holding here. Corner themselves in. Going to go down like the true legions of Rome would. These copycats are going to go down just like them. Holding in a corner. Well, defending to the last. Defending the banner. Where is the banner, actually? That's a good pilot. Has anyone got the standard bearer? Anyone seen the standard bearer? He's probably very much dead. And there you go. The classic line of they're little, the enemies are a little bit hostile at the moment. Yeah, because you're enemies. Uh, but yeah, there you go. It's just fast forward quickly. Desert cohort. How many can they take down? I'm sure they'll take a few with them. It's a good sword unit. They just needed a few more of these guys. And obviously it was uh, large funds, so obviously you can't spam these guys up. But uh, a few more of these guys would have been great. I wonder whether the Arvoni brought a bit, slightly stronger army, whether he would have had a better chance. I don't know. Obviously I don't know how much it costs for every unit, like precisely. I mean, they're actually... No, this desert cohort is losing. There you go. A costly victory for Macedon and for Syracuse. So well done to, uh, well, Aiden and Dodgy Gob, uh, two subs and uh, members of the Discord. Um, they had an excellent, excellent battle there. They sent in. Thank you for sending that in. Um, and then well played as well to Demo and Rogue Witcher, who also did a really, really good job of attacking. They were very unlucky. Um, Rogue Witcher actually in the most kills out of any of the four armies. But uh, Aiden, who got the most kills for the uh, defenders, 256 kills with his archers. It's very, very good. All of them getting over 100 kills. Um, his best Thorax Swords, I think, is his 224 here. He's only got 214, which is very good. 120 with his Thorax Spears. Or oh, 136, actually, even better. Um, so he did very well there. His Pike's going to get 9 kills. It's a bit of a shame, really. Especially being the only Pike unit. That could have been really huge. Uh, well, to do well with, basically. Uh, and then Dodgy Gob uh, got 102 kills with his Thorax Hot Plights. None of his archers did as well as Aiden's. Um, his Thorax Swords, 225 here. Um, and then his Thorax Spears getting 191, which is the best one there. Um, so well done to him as well. Then Demo, who was playing against the Arverni. He got 121 kills with his Gallic uh, Hunters. Three of his uh, archers getting over 100 kills. His Chosen Swords getting 144, the best one. And his uh, Celtic Warriors. I feel like if he brought a few more like more elite units instead of these Celtic Warriors, he may have done the job. Best one getting 103. Um, and his Levy Freeman getting 68 kills, so isn't bad. And his Oswald 349, which has got to be one of the best units on the battlefield. Until we get to Mercedes, because I'm sure they'll have some better ones. There you go, 373 kills, 313 with his Desert Cohort, as expected. His Desert Legionnaires doing pretty well as well, getting... I mean, actually, I say that doing pretty well, but look at the difference, like, in quality. 145, the best one, but most of them getting in the 80s. All of these got over 200 kills. Insanely well. Uh, played by, um, well, by Marseille there. Uh, he brought a lot of, I mean, these Numidian Light Infantry are actually apparently Javis, but I'm pretty sure they're a sword unit. Um, they got Javis out, but he's also got Slingers. Uh, Slingers got 159 and 140, well done to him. His artillery getting 105, um, and his Numidian Light Infantry getting 180 is very good for them, better than the Vigilates. But well played to all. Um, if you enjoyed, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment to show your support. I hope you guys have had a great day and have enjoyed the video. And until next time, Legionnaires.